Hello everybody, Dave here <clears throat> for the next episode of Dave Gets Bored where uh, oh, I'm still working on the legs now I know it's taking some time um, um, but they've needed it um, and I happened to do something yesterday because it's been a couple of days since I've done anything on the legs but I happened to do something yesterday which is basically something I've mentioned in a previous video that's handy to do about let's say if you're moving your room around and you want to know if you whether you like it go out stay out of it for a while come back in and see what your instant reaction is well, I kind of did that without really knowing I was doing it with these where I just kind of ignored them for a couple of days and then I came out of my bedroom yesterday and looked at them and just instant reaction was they're looking good the colour of them is really nice it is there's a much more depth to it and I basically looking at them went yeah two more will do it we'll do it um, because they pretty much look good enough um, to go as they are but I do I do think they'll benefit from an extra couple of coats so that's what I'm going to try and do today at least on one of the, one pair of them um, but something that I had kind of been forgetting was sort of in my mind I've been thinking um, and even though I know this, in my mind I've been thinking, okay, like, well, it needs another two coats, okay, we'll do that and then we're done. And, or if it needs another two, we'll do that and then we're done. Right, okay, so this needs uh, two more coats now, so that'll be eight ton and we're done. Actually, no, we're not done. We're done with this varnish, but we're still got the clear to apply. And as tempted as I am to opt I'm going to come down while I'm stuck this yeah, as tempted as I am to opt uh, to not do the um, clear coat yet I think the best thing to do is actually to do the clear coat um, before moving on to anything else because we will then be able to I mean on the legs they're not going to need as many clear coats as um, I'm going to want to put on the tabletop um, so I could probably get away with doing two or three coats on the clear um, but it would be handy to know exactly what effect that's going to have on the colour um, before moving on um, so that's something that I kind of need to I do need to do that so although I had been mentally preparing getting ready to make a start on the tabletop uh, I've got to remember that these still need clear coat because even though I knew it I had genuinely kind of bypassed that thought process we'll see how we do anyway um, now oh, oh something I want to do as well is I um, I'm gonna potentially need to make some preparations in my living room where the tabletop is um, uh, so that we can I can work on it without causing any damage to anything but uh, I'm limited to space at the moment or with space at the moment so it's not like I can really move it anywhere but I mean as stupid as this might sound I was thinking last night I mean, I don't have a sofa, I have two chairs, two armchairs, which I would like to change out for a sofa at some point. 
but part of me was thinking, well, given the current COVID situation, there's no point having two chairs because no one can come round anyway. Um, which made, did make me think, well, maybe I can just give myself a bit more space by getting rid of it, one of my chairs, but I don't know. It could be a lot of hassle. No, it might look, I'd get rid of a chair and then someone would go, oh, mate, what a lot of pop around. Now, whether you can tell on the camera or not about the the depth of colour that I was on about, uh, I might not really be able to tell. Um, of course, yeah. It is just the way the, the light is with the uh, the patterns on the wood. Um, but it is definitely um, coming along very nicely. I mean, it would have been interesting to have if I'd have gone through just working on one pair of the legs until they were done and then I could compare them but I, don't, I didn't want to do that because then it could easily feel like I'm just constantly repeating well, constantly repeating myself I am anyway but because I'm it's basically adding a coat of varnish and then adding a coat of varnish and then adding a coat of varnish but it's more the what I'm applying that to. So if I do two coats on this, then I can do two coats on that, and then they're all at the same level. Whereas if I do these all the way through, that would take some time. But then, when I move on to the next one, I've got to do them all the way through. So it's, it's just about how mentally uh, I approach it to try and make it feel like it's not as much. I mean, to be fair, in an ideal world, I'd be able to get loads of layers of varnish applied to these um, very, very quickly, loads in a day. Um, not that easy. Um, I mean, hopefully when it comes to doing the table top or the underneath of the table, hopefully that will be a little a little easier um, because obviously it's a flat surface that I can apply and let dry and apply and let dry and potentially go through that a lot quicker um, but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see on that one oh. ok so we're now on to the second part of coat number 7 one of the things I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make a note of the total amount of coats that I'm using here. Um, so eight of the dark oak and then however many of the clear I use. Um, because the eight of the dark oak, that'll end up being the minimum that I do on the table top unless uh, the wood there has a very different reaction and ends up looking a lot darker with less layers but I mean, again though I, I've still got to I've still got a pattern that I want to create onto that um, but I'm not going to worry about that until we're ready to actually work on the top of the tabletop. Um, I said I don't want to worry. I mean, I am constantly thinking about it, um, and the plan is still to pencil draw some kind of design, and then using the Dremel to carve it out. Um, how that'll go, I don't know. We'll just have to 
break and see. Uh, I mean, this seventh layer is just again, it's added a uh, yeah, this, that is the the end of the seventh layer on that one. It's just added a an another deeper effect of the shine. Um, I'm gonna need to hang on a few minutes while this one just dries off a little bit more. It looks like it's been raining outside now. Yeah, so that's that. I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to getting the table done and being able to use it. Um, I mean, it's not that often that I'm, I would necessarily sit at the table to eat my dinner, not at the moment anyway, but um, that's probably because I don't have a table I can sit at at the moment because it's for in use. Whereas I think if I did, I probably would use it a lot more. Um, so, yeah. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I'm going to end up with a really nice table that should last a long time. Okay, let's get the end of coat number seven done here. And these two. In a shame, it is a sorry, words wrong. In a way, it is a shame that this dark oak um, doesn't create its colour in as quick an application as, say, the deep mahogany does. Um, but okay, with the deep mahogany, it's what, three coats and it's still reddish, but you probably sort of four to six coats and you'd be all right. Whereas for this, it's it's not as dark a colour, but yeah, has taken me quite a while to get to the, the level that I want. I think I've got a little, yeah, I thought I had quite a bit left in there. I did apply a bit too much on that last side. The seven applications go. I like that. I do want to give it one more, but I want to give these a few minutes to to dry up. So I'm just going to hit pause on the video, and uh, we shall be back when we start to uh, coat and break. Okay, let's get cracking with the coat number eight on uh, these first two. Um, and then hopefully that's going to be sort of coloured varnish applications done and I mean my gut feeling told me that eight will be enough and I reckon it will um, I mean when I looked at it my 
gut feeling was I think they would do. Um, but I just wanted that little bit more. Um, so yeah. Um, now I won't be attempting to apply any clear varnish on these today um, because and I want to let them dry properly, let them completely set. Um, I'm then also going to want to give them a very light sanding before I go on to applying uh, the clear coat. Um, of which, I mean, I'm thinking on the legs, if we do a minimum three coats, then what I can do is I can do two applications, let it dry fully, um, and then give it a light sanding before applying that final uh, third. But obviously if I feel like it needs more, then it hopefully, uh, if we can do that, but one of the things that <clears throat> I sort of want to emphasize again is that on the table top, I want to get the color right, but then I want to basically apply um, a shed load of um, clear coats to give it lots and lots of protection but also to give it lots and lots of shine First half of coat number eight almost done. Um, yeah, I'm very much liking the oh, my arm started. I'm starting to do it in there. in a very clear reflection, which is good. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. okay, so we've got the other halves of both of those to do for coat number eight. What I'm then probably gonna try and do is to drink loads like I don't know three four liters a day now I don't think anywhere near that thinking about it probably not even half a liter a day and that's in coffee right okay yeah so once I've done the final parts of those um what I'll probably do is pop them as far away that way as I can 
um, and then on another video we shall make a start on 7 and 8 on these two over here um, and get them up so if I can get all of these up to um, 8 coats today I think I'll be buzzing to be honest um, because then next time we'd be looking at applying the clear coats um, and oh, yeah I was contemplating whether I could do the clear coats on this and start taking the table apart but I really don't want to and that's been emphasized by the fact that um, okay quite a bit of the table underneath um, has got some damage some of the bits of wood under there uh, a damage not of the actual table top itself but the supporting wood underneath um, but also most of it is held in with screws and washers now it kind of looks like someone previously well it definitely looks like someone previously has tried to repair the table in one way or another and in doing so has broken the table but also when they varnish the table they've gone over the screws and uh, the washers so they look shit um which okay no one will ever see them but i'm not i don't particularly like how they look now i could clean all the washers but they take a fucking age or i could just say you know what let's buy a uh, pack of brass uh, washers or black washers because I think either colour would go well with this wood silver ones would look wrong um, but black or bronze I think uh, sorry not bronze brass um, I think would work uh, um, and replace all the washers so it's one of those things as well that in taking it apart I'm going to want to what well, part of it is I'm going to want to photograph in detail uh, every bit that I can but also I'm considering actually marking the wood um, so I know exactly where which supporting piece goes um, so if, for example there's, there's an end there's two ends one on each end um, but if it turns out that one has to specifically be at one end then I want to make sure that it's going there um, and I can do that easily by um, carving in or using the Dremel to perhaps carve in a letter like L um, and I can put another one actually on in the wood um, of the table uh, to make sure that it goes in the right place now it's possible that one of the reasons that the tables suffered damage before it could be that these supporting pieces needed to go in particular places and they've put them in the wrong places which is why it's ended up pulling pulling the wood out of place out of position putting too much stress under it and cracking the wood so that's something to consider as well um, so it's not just a case of oh let's take it apart and not give a shit it has got to be done uh, methodically um, but also I've got thinking about it I'm kind of forgetting that the next stage is actually uh, measuring cutting and making sure that the bits that these legs are attached to is done that's the next stage before really taking the table apart
Now the measuring up of those, that is something that I can I can kind of do at any point really. And, and has been I've been thinking about doing that recently. It's Christ like I do with stop thinking about it and just doing it. But okay, so that's coat number eight on that one. I'm done. To the last half of coat number eight here. A bit too much on there, boy. So that coat number eight done on there as well. Oh, and I am very much liking how these are looking. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break there. Uh, I'm going to get my video files transferred onto the computer and then hopefully. Uh, after not too long, we'll come and get these two up to the same stage as these. Right? But that won't be until the next video. So, have a good one, everybody. And we'll see you all again soon.